Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Today I am bringing you another gift idea using some craft things you can buy um, and making it very personalised. So I was in one of my local kind of cheap craft kind of stores called The Works. Um, and those in England will know this shop. I don't think they have them anywhere else. So, and I picked up this pack of two wooden puzzles for a pound so I think that was a really good buy and you get these two plain wood puzzles that fit together with four pieces like that and um, they're not best condition to be fair because there's like some dents and dents and stuff but you know for 50 a piece it's a bit of fun isn't it and so for this one I've just created a bit of a seashore scene um, using high tides and today what we're going to do is we're going to create one using graceful gardens using the very same techniques that I've used to create this one so I've done some hand stamping and I've done some aqua painting so we're going to do a bit of that today so I'm going to pop this over to one side so it's not going to look like that because we're using a different stamp set how I started doing this is I done a, a wash with the blue for the background um, and then let it dry. So using my large nibbed aqua painter, let me just get some kitchen roll, make sure I've got no ink on it. I'm going to go for a lighter blue this time because I felt that that blue was maybe a little bit too dark. So. This time I'm going to go for soft sky, whereas I think that was Pacific Point, which was, it came out a lot darker than I expected. So let's give that a good squidge. If you have got the re-inkers, then pop a bit of re-inker down and do it that way. That's absolutely fine, but I don't have re-inkers, so um, I'm just making my kind of palette there. I literally just went across the whole thing. I might have to do quite a bit. So I will fast forward this and I'll speak to you in a minute. So we're back and I have let it dry. Um, best thing to do is to make sure that when you do put a layer on that you let it dry in um, because if you don't it will distort. Um, you will be able to hear my son and partner in the background. They are watching the football and playing with the bricks. Um, I think this colour's come out really well. So this was the soft sky. Um, it's a bit more washy and I kind of think it's a bit more vintage looking. So we're going to go on to the stamping now. So I'm going to find the best part that I like. So I'm going to have it this way up. So I've got this dent that's here, which I've got in this one, which is there. I'm going to have that at the bottom. And I've kind of had a play around with colours and like images. And this is the kind of uh, configuration that I'm looking to do. It doesn't have to be exact, but that, that's what I'm going to try and recreate. Um, it's always a good idea to try it out on some cardstock or something, some paper. This is just some really cheap cardstock um, just to try it out. See if you like it. Um, I'm using stays on, oh, getting it everywhere. Um, just so it doesn't bleed. I find sometimes it doesn't always um, transfer so well so you've really got to kind of make sure it's really well inked up. I might need to get some more green from the stays on. Okay. So I'm gonna first position this one and then I'm gonna work from there. I'm just pressing down quite firm and I'm hoping, that's not too bad, that's alright, 
so it won't because of it's on wood grain it, it won't like transfer um as clear as it would on cardstock but we've got a really good impression where the pieces meet so i'm happy with that let's do the other one i just thought these would make really nice little gifts um for friends and family or if you're doing a craft fair they're quite a good little something i'm not going to charge much for these to be honest um we will yeah because they, they only cost me a pound for a pack of two so i'm probably only going to charge like 150 for them but they make quite a nice little stocking filler oh oh look i'm getting ink everywhere today on my nightmare i am Give that another go. <sighs> Try and position it. Try not to rock it because obviously you can't really go over this. Once it's on, it's on. Oh, Theo is playing with his car. So it hasn't quite left an impression there um, because of the dent in the actual wood grain, but it, it would have been quite a good impression if it had. That's okay. I can work with that. I'll find a way to cover that up slightly. But I'm gonna move on to the rest of the, the stamping with the stays on. So, the way I'm going to fix this little bit is I've got <laughs> my little portable craft bag, my little one. I've got a really duffed up um, blender pen which I've destroyed and so I can use it for different things. It would still work if I got it through but I'll just pick up a little bit of the black and I'm just going to kind of Join these lines slightly. If I had a black marker, that would work. I don't have one. So I've just kind of blended that slightly so it's not so obvious, but obviously it does show a little bit. Uh, the way I added colour is I used my acrylic painters again. Um, and this time, I see I wasn't sure if I was going to go for the Blushing Bride or the Cherry Cobbler, but I think I'm going to go for the Cherry Cobbler because it's such a bright colour. I'm going to use Garden Green. So I'm doing the squidge in the middle. So, And if you have got reinkers on a small palette, then that will work. I'm going to use the smaller one of my Aqua Painters. I'm not going to try and add too much colour. Um, as in water, sorry. I don't want it to bleed too much so just be careful that you don't put too much on because it will bleed because it's already starting because of the wood grain it will bleed along the grain but you know if you're going for that kind of look that's fine but if you don't just be very careful about how much water you put on. You could even do it with a blender pen. That might work. I don't mind it bleeding myself. I'm gonna take off some of the water. And just try and pick up the color. So I've done the green and I've uh, 
I've just gone over it a little bit with extra green in the centre. What I did is I took the water out of my aqua painter so I could pick up the colour a bit stronger and literally just put it in the centre bits. And I'm going to move on to the uh, cherry cobbler. But like I said, it, it, it is bleeding, but I'm, I don't mind that. As long as you don't put too much colour on. Um, it shouldn't bleed too much if you don't put too, sorry too much water on. So this time, I'm using aqua painter without any water in it. Um, I'm going to put a drop of water in the ink from my other aqua painter. That's it, only one drop, and then that's what I'm going to use. Thank you for the tea. Okay. I'm going to try and not go too uh. close to the line because let's see if it how far it bleeds if I don't do uh. that. Uh. Uh. It still bleeds, but. Yeah. So well, I've just cut it, coloured it all in, and I've just. Uh, tried out doing a little bit of stamping on it so I'm going to go over it with um, the sta this stamp that's in that same stamp set so the Graceful Gardens I think that just adds a little bit of um, depth to it but um, yeah they have bled and that's to be expected um, but try and use as little water as possible for it to bleed but it's wood what do you expect um, but if you were hand stamping on top you can see like where I've stamped this, which is, don't know if it's shown up as well. Um, it uh, it doesn't bleed. And because I'm using this colour, it doesn't matter that I'm stamping over the flowers because I don't think it really notices. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Not the way that's come out. So I just used the same colour. Oh. It's really not wanting to close for me. There we go. I'm um, soft sky, so what I've done the wash with. I'll bring that up closer, see if you can see it. I think that's come out quite nice. There's like a little something else, another gift. I think it's a great fun way of doing it. So I hope you've enjoyed making these puzzles with me today. Um, I'll be back with some more gift and card ideas soon. Um, but this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's doing some hand stamped um, puzzles for gifts. Hi, I just thought I'd tag this onto the end of the video so you could see the other um, designs that I did. So using a painted harvest, I hand stamped this one and as you can see it hasn't bled so my tip is aqua paint the background hand stamp the image that you want because uh, then it doesn't bleed um, although I love this and I've added a bit of wink of Stella to make it a little bit glittery um, it has bled um, and that's fine if if you know you're happy with that, which you know it kind of makes it a bit vintagey. So, and then I've also added just a bit of wink of Stella onto the sea to make it a little bit sparkly. So there are four different designs um, that just to inspire you, and hopefully you've taken away some ideas today. Anyway, time to go. Thanks very much. This has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Have a great day now. Bye.